and welcome to the Real Estate Edition of That Business Show 2.0 with your host, Jamie Maloney, where real estate becomes show business. On today's program, we've got the latest uh, stats and figures on the Tampa Bay housing market. I, myself, a realtor with Coal Banker in the Tampa Bay region. But if you're listening to me across the uh, country, you can uh, use my uh, services through our vast relocation and referral network. TampaBayREO.com is our new site uh, specific to uh, the foreclosure market in Tampa Bay, but it also has a contact form that you can reach out to me and I can help you again with a, uh, a referral of an agent wherever you are in the uh, United States. Again, if you're local here in the Tampa Bay region, I cover anywhere from Sarasota uh, up into Manatee, Polk, uh, Pinellas, Pasco, Hillsboro, Sumter, and Hernando counties. I can help you out personally. Again, reach out to me through my contact form, Tampa Bay REO. Com. So let's take a look at what's going on in the marketplace. We'll be covering Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties on a statistical uh, uh, level today. But before I talk about that, just a little bit about you know what's going on again in the uh, real estate market. Inventory again remains uh, at record lows, but we're seeing a cooling off in the market now. And homes not moving as quickly as they were six or seven months ago and it's not doesn't mean that, that you know it's a you know a, a dire market or anything we need homes to come onto the marketplace and i'm still holding out uh you know uh, no one say hope but i'm holding out uh, for all this excess inventory that is tied up in rental housing to come onto the marketplace here within the next couple of years uh, that was which was bought primarily in 2012 by hedge fund uh, buyers, of which I've worked with a, a couple of them through the years, again, with an eight-year plan to buy, hold rent, and then resell towards the uh, latter half of the uh, decade. That was uh, their their model, and I think we'll start to see a lot of that inventory come out of the marketplace here in the next couple of years. Right now, typical months of supply of inventory still just over one, maybe two months of inventory, depending on price point. That's a, uh, that's a strong seller's market right there. We really need to be in that five to seven month inventory range for it to be a very, um, I guess, a very uh, good market for both buyers and sellers. When I came on to the uh, real estate business in 2008, we had like 15 to 16 months of inventory. That was during the financial crisis in 2008 when everything was just flipped on its head and nobody knew what was going on and we were near a complete uh, default in our economic system. But today the uh, market has completely shifted the other way. And so I've seen my first full cycle in real estate now being in real estate about 10 years. They say real estate uh, cycles actually probably Probably more so every 15 years from peak to peak, but uh, we see this cycle roughly, you know, from about a 10 year span from peak to peak. So right now is a good time to get the home onto the marketplace. The next couple of years, uh, homes are going to begin to uh, go down in value also because interest rates are going to have to come up. And that's always been the one thing that's protected our marketplace in terms of, you know, keeping, you know, the, the buyers coming into the market. If we are having seven or eight, 9% interest, which, interest rates, which by the way, are, were historically the average, we would not have had the uh, the home sales we even had during uh, the, the tough times of 2008 to, to 2012. So let's go over here to the uh, spreadsheet. If you're watching uh, or if you're listening to the uh, podcast, keep in mind all of the uh, shows in which I use visual aids are available on our uh, YouTube channel. Just go to that YouTube channel dot com, and they're also available on iTunes as a separate video cast. And so if you're finding me on iTunes. Simply type in That Business Show 2.0 video cast and you'll find the videos in addition to the audios. Uh, well, a uh, not commonly known fact that you can have both a video as well as an audio cast on iTunes. Hillsborough County, let's take a look at what's going on. Up to $150,000 in the multiple listing service. 293 homes available for sale. Altogether, we've got 4,300 homes available in the multiple listing service in Hillsborough County. Uh, that have sold in the past six months up to $150,000, $1,355 with an average days on market of just 34 days, 200 and I should say 1.3 months supply of inventory in this marketplace. Over here on the far right, again, I don't talk about this column often uh, enough, but this is our new listings that have come onto the market in the past 60 days. We've had a thousand new listings come onto the market. Repositioned means that they have had a price reduction, 220 price reductions in this category, and we've only had 12 listings expire in the past 60 days in that price point. 
The meat of the curve in Hillsborough County is $150,000 to $300,000. 1,900 homes available for sale in this segment, and 6,170 have sold in the past six months. Average days on market, 46 days on the market, with 1.85 months of supply of inventory available in this market segment. 5,367 new listings in the past 60 days, with over 1,200 price reductions in the past 60 days, and 56 homes that have expired from the MLS during that time frame. Three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand uh, dollars, a little over twelve hundred homes available for sale in our area, and twenty three hundred uh, or so have sold between three hundred thousand and five hundred thousand in Tampa Bay, with an average days on market of fifty nine, and then three point two months of supply of inventory. From there, we go down uh, considerably in terms of inventory, five hundred to seven hundred fifty thousand. We got 449 homes available for sale in the multiple listing service and 658 have sold in the past six months, giving us an average days on market at 76 days on market with four months of supply of inventory. Let's go over here to our million dollar and up market. Again, Tampa Bay not known, or Tampa itself not known for million dollar homes, although they are out there. We just don't have a lot of waterfront, which is the key to having those million dollar homes in uh, Tampa Bay. You'll see a lot of million dollar homes more in Pinellas, down into Sarasota counties where you got a lot of nice coastline and a lot of, a lot of new, or a lot of nice developments in uh, those particular areas. But Tampa, city of Tampa and Hillsborough County, uh, you know, there's a lot of actual open and rural area, uh, rural area inside of uh, Hillsborough County. You got there's Tampa down in the south, but as you get up into the northern end, and of course, then that gets into you know, Pasco and southern Pasco, still just got a lot of open pasture land, a lot of development going on into the area up there. And so if you're looking to move into this area right now, that's really where you want to be. It's probably southern Pasco County. That's where a lot of new home development is going on. Taxes are lower there and insurance is lower there. Once you cross the border into Hillsborough County, you're going to get increased insurance and you're going to get increased property taxes. So always want to, if you're moving into an area, this is a tip that my father gave me as a, as a child, you always want to move ahead of the development of the city because the city's going to catch up and then you're going to buy low and then your property price will be elevated to uh, catch up with uh, the rest of the uh, city. Also, anytime you buy into a, a particular neighborhood, don't buy the most expensive home on the marketplace. Buy one of the cheap because the other surrounding homes is going to have a positive impact on the price of your home and it's going to lift it up uh, to be more in line with the rest of the homes. That has the opposite effect if you buy the most expensive home in the neighborhood. Million dollars to $1.5 million. We've got 137 homes available for sale in our marketplace. 97 homes have sold in the uh, past six months and that's 78 uh, days on market by or on average and in eight and a half months of supply of inventory. And then when we get a million and a half up to, you know, two and a half and a half million and up, just over a hundred homes total available for sale and uh, just under about 60 or 70 homes available or that have sold in the past six month in this 1.5 and up, 1.5 million and up category. Days on market uh, averaging uh, right around 120 days on a market and then months of supply of inventory between eight and 10 and then two and a half million, it jumps way up there to 30. But luxury market treated much differently than the uh, meat of the curve, which again in Tampa Bay, our median price point, somewhere around $150,000, $170,000. That is the bulk of the uh, supply of inventory in our marketplace. And a very, very, very affordable metro. I challenge you to look in other major cities and compare the city of Tampa or just Tampa Bay in general's uh, price point, median price point to those other major metros and you'll be shocked at the affordability of the Tampa Bay marketplace. So Tampa Bay is an excellent place to move to. Many, many, many people moving into Florida overall uh, in, the, in the coming years and have been continued to move into this area. Florida, a great place to move. So consider me a resource if you're coming into the area. Phone number direct 813-760-8516. Again, 813-760-8516. You can reach out to me, jamie at tampabayradio.com or my contact form over at the uh, new site for the uh, show, tampabayreo.com. Coming back over here to the uh, spreadsheet, take a quick look at the uh, distressed inventory. This, again, is where I've been a specialist in for the uh, past uh, 10 years, but the last 12 months has been nothing like the uh, past 10 years. And so as you can see why, I've, done, I've never sold short sales, and I've always done the REOs, the difference being that a short sale, the owner still has possession of the property, the foreclosure occurs and it becomes an REO, so I've always represented the banks. But 63 short sales available for sale, 106 foreclosures available.
available for sale. That's 1.45% of the available inventory for short sales, 2.4% available inventory for foreclosures, very low, very low percentage. We've seen 195 short sales sold over the past six months. We've seen 474 foreclosures sale over the past six months. Short sales averaging 89 days on market, foreclosures averaging 49 days on market. And as a percentage of the available closed sales, short sales coming in at 1.8% and foreclosures as a percentage of the available uh, closed sales coming in at just over 4% in Hillsborough County. When we come back for the break, I got the other uh, Tampa Bay counties, Pinellas, uh, Pasco, and Polk to uh, review. And keep in mind, these are also available on the uh, site, tampabayreo.com on the homepage now. So right now, the uh, July... Uh, Reports are up there. We're going to replace those again with the current August reports, and we'll cycle those out each and every month. So these files available for you, again, that I'm using up here on screen for your own uh, benefit, for your own use with your uh, customers, or for your own show for local and like to also report the uh, numbers. Again, this is a, a service I do for uh, all of my listeners uh, in real estate uh, to keep an eye on what's going on in the Tampa Bay real estate market. And also, if you're uh, you know outside of the area, it gives you a template for how to analyze your own particular market. So again, new episodes of this program each Thursday morning at 9 a.m. on thatbusinessnetwork.com and we'll be back in a moment. Hi, welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area.
Welcome back to the Real Estate Edition of That Business Show 2.0. Your host, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Today we're talking about the stats, what's going on in the uh, Tampa Bay uh, real estate market. I do this program once a uh, month and pull all the statistics of what's going on so you can be an educated consumer in the Tampa Bay market. And if you're outside of the market, it gives you an idea as a template of what you should be looking at to analyze the uh, real estate market. These, uh, these reports are available on Tampa Bay, or I should say Tampa Bay REO, com. It's the new uh, site for the real estate edition of the uh, program. Also over there, you can catch all the past shows, both the audios and the uh, videos. Up along the menu bar is a tab that says real estate videos. You can see all of those videos. Also available on iTunes as a uh, podcast. And a lot of times on the uh, real estate show, I'll use some visual demonstrations. And so if you're catching it uh, on iTunes, if you'd like to see the visual cues, we have the YouTube channel. And again, like I said, we have the videos on Tampa Bay REO dot com as well. So let's talk about what's going on in Pinellas County, a, the uh, westernmost uh, 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 county in our region there that's a uh, waterfront and home to uh, places such as St. Petersburg, Clearwater, uh, Pinellas Park, a lot, a lot of cities over there, a very built up community that was uh, built primarily up in the 40s and the 50s and a lot of the homes over there uh, outdated by today's standards. That's uh, one of the areas that uh, St. Petersburg and Pinellas County still struggle with is the uh, dysfunctionality of some of the older homes. They have the one car garages, the one bathroom setups, whereas today you got two car garages because both uh, people in the household uh, typically work in need cars. And uh, of course the uh, two bathroom always preferable over the uh, the one bathroom setup. You have the master bath and then the the, uh, the hall bath uh, for the uh, rest of the family and, and for guests. But uh, Pinellas County is still a, a, a desirable area to, uh, to live in. A lot of great waterfront communities. Uh, downtown St. Petersburg is a, a great place to go and have fun uh, along the water, have drinks, a lot of excellent restaurants in the area, a lot of art in the area. Ta uh, St. Petersburg known for the arts district over there. We featured them on the program. Uh, before and to uh, the downtown St. Petersburg community just dwarfs uh, the Tampa Bay downtown community. If you listen to the program enough, you'll, you'll hear me talking with guests about you know, downtown Tampa and, it, and its challenges and what's happening down there with the revitalization. But downtown St. Petersburg is a, a great place to both live, work, and I should say even play. So it's a trifecta down there in downtown St. Petersburg. From a real estate standpoint, let's take a look at what's going on in Pinellas County. Uh, active homes available in the uh, multiple listing service, uh, 2,864 homes currently for sale in Pinellas County. Of those, up to 150,212 homes available for sale that have sold in the past six months, up to $150,000 is 1,229. Uh, altogether total, with just over 7,700 homes have sold in the past six months in Pinellas County. Uh, average days on market uh, overall 51 uh, in this segment up to 150,000 it's at 34 days on market months of supply of inventory 1.03 we're almost about ready to dip below one month of inventory over in Pinellas County uh, 826 new listings in the past 60 days and 146 price reductions and eight homes have expired in Pinellas County and the price point of up to $150,000 $150,000 to $300,000, 985 homes currently available for sale with uh, just under 4,000 selling in this price point with an average days on market of 37 days and just under 1.5 months of supply of inventory. 3,093 new listings in this market in the last 60 days. 720 homes have had their prices reduced and then 46 homes have expired. 300,000 up to a half a million. We've got 693 homes available for sale. And 1,572 homes have sold in the past six months with an average days on market of 52. And then new listings coming in at just under 1,500 new listings in that segment and 375 properties. So properties have been uh, reduced in price and 22 have expired in the market. Half million up to 750,000. We got four, just a little over 400 homes available for sale in Pinellas County. 500,000 to 750,000 in terms of what is sold in the last six months. 559 homes with an average days on market of 85 and then 4.42 months supply of inventory. 592 new listings in the area with 136 price uh, drops 
and 21 homes that have expired in those uh, last 60 days. 750,000 up to a million, got 210 homes available for sale, up to a million uh, and between 750,000. 183 homes have sold in the last six months. 111 days on market on average with seven, just under seven months uh, supply of inventory with 220 new listings <coughs> and 41 price drops in the last 60 days with eight homes expiring. And then we up into above the million dollar price point. As you'll see, there is a lot more homes available for sale in that price point over there and uh, versus the uh, Tampa Bay marketplace. Just a, probably under a 200 or just over 250, 200, eh, probably more about 260 or 300 or so actually uh, homes in that price point in Pinellas County, due in large part to the uh, waterfront uh, homes that are in the area. And over there we've had uh, just under about 180 homes that have sold in the uh, last six months in Pinellas County. Over there, months of supply of inventory at above a million, uh, starting around 8.9 for a million to 1.5 million, and then up to 14 uh, to 19 or 12 to 19 for homes priced between a million and a half and 2.5 million dollars. Uh, distressed inventory in that uh, marketplace. Uh, short sales, uh, only 29 available for sale in our MLS, and 51 foreclosures available in the multiple listing service. 111 short sales have sold over the uh, past six months and 288 uh, foreclosures have sold in the uh, past six months, giving it an average of 89 days on market for short sales and 47 days on market for foreclosures. Short sales is a percentage of the available inventory, 1%. Foreclosures is a percentage of the available inventory, 1.8%. Short sales is a percentage of the available closed sales at 1.4% and foreclosures as a percentage of the closed sales coming in at 3.74%. And again, all these files are available on tampabayreo.com. And uh, again, we put these out each and every month uh, to educate you, the uh, consumer, about what's going on in the marketplace in Tampa Bay. My uh, business is specialized in the sale of bank-owned properties for the past 10 years. And so if you're an asset manager looking for an agent that is experienced in the sale of bank-owned properties, I am definitely uh, your guy in the uh, Tampa Bay region with over 2,000 homes sold. But if you're somebody that needs an agent outside of the marketplace or outside of the Tampa Bay marketplace, we do have a vast relocation and referral network that we're happy to uh, pair you up with. So again, please consider me your resource for uh, the uh, for the real estate market. It helps me, you know, uh, find value in doing the uh, program each and every week to know that I'm making an impact and a difference in uh, people's uh, lives and in their business lives each and every day by uh, interacting with me and communicating with me. If you have general questions about real estate and you're outside of the area, I'm happy to you know assist you as I can. Keep in mind, different states have different laws, and so if you're outside of Florida, I may not know some of the uh, the intricacies of your market. But there are a lot of uh, you know standards and practices that carry over from market to market, such as proper pricing uh, for your home or proper uh, you know how to launch a, a new home when it hits the uh, market. Uh, a lot of these things have been covered on the uh, program uh, here on uh, That Business Show, the uh, the real estate edition, made available each weekday morning at 9 a.m. on thatbusinessnetwork.com. But again, I encourage you to interact uh, with the uh, program, send me messages, and uh, jamie at tampabayradio.com is the uh, direct email to me and also a contact form on tampabayreo.com. Also, if you're finding the show on iTunes, uh, it's doing a real estate type of search. The show uh, is a uh, a pair or sister program of the uh, regular program, that Business Show 2.0, which is an entrepreneurship-based program where I interview different entrepreneurs and community leaders each and every uh, day on the uh, program. And we're always looking for content for that program. TBSinterview.com for more information on how to come onto the program. Again, TBSinterview.com. Com. So on today's program, covering the different statistics and stats of what's going on in the real estate market. So please, by all means, 
uh, pick up a copy of these uh, files at tampabayreo.com. We do these each and every month. Currently reviewing the August 2017 statistics for the different counties in and around the Tampa Bay region. When we come back from the break, I'll cover Pasco and uh, Polk County briefly. Also touch on the condo markets. You'll notice on my spreadsheets that I do have tabs for the uh, condo markets. We'll touch on what's going on in those markets in, in Hillsborough and Pinellas briefly as well. So new episodes each weekday morning, 9 a.m. on thatbusinessnetwork.com. And please find and subscribe to us on iTunes and leave a review. It helps the program grow. And we greatly appreciate the listeners and the viewers that tune into the program on a regular or a daily basis. So again, thank you so much for the support. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to that business show, 2.0, the real estate edition. I'm your host, Jamie Mooney. We're real estate 
becomes show business. So let's go over here and review what's going on in the uh, condominium market. I haven't touched on this in the last uh, couple of programs, but each one of the uh, spreadsheets does have a tab down at the bottom that uh, breaks out what's going on in the uh, condo market, which is an area that is uh, very distinct, uh, distinctual from residential real estate. Uh, condominiums right now still coming out of a, a, a slump. Uh, some, better, much, some developments much better than others, but I always warn when buying in a condominium developed, be sure to take the time to review the financials and the budget. This is all information that is uh, required to be supplied to the buyer within three to 15 days of, of purchase, depending on whether it's a new or resale. Uh, condominium, but be sure to get that because if you do not like what's inside the condominium, you do have the right to void the uh, contract within that time frame, and that time frame does not begin until the condominium docs are provided to you. So be sure to uh, request those, and for the uh, sellers and developers out there, be sure to provide those immediately upon execution of the contract. Really, uh, best real estate practices is, is to attach all that stuff in the multiple listing service and that way it's uh, easily accessible and can be reviewed before the buyer even submits an offer on the property. So we've done some shows uh, also that really get into condo law, a show titled All About Condos. Uh, highly recommend that available over on Tampa Bay REO. Dot com if you really want to learn about the intricacies about condominium ownership, which is a unique form of ownership that differs from traditional residential uh, homes. So in the Hillsborough County market, up to $150,000, got 260 homes currently available for sale that are condominiums. Up to $150,000, we got uh, just uh, 1,460 homes uh, or condos that have sold in the uh, past six months. So they're averaging 35 days on market in that uh, price point and 1.07 months supply of inventory. 1,039 new listings have come onto the market in the past 60 days. Also, 161 homes have had a uh, price reduction with five expiring in that price point. 150,000 up to 300,000, 403 condos available for sale in Hillsborough County. 150,000 up to 300,000, uh, 1,216 homes have sold in that uh, price point. Again, that's condos with 47 days on market on average and just under two months supply of inventory. And as you can see from there, it drops uh, off. Uh, next price point's got a decent amount of uh, inventory in it, I would say. 300,000 to 500,000, 173 homes available for sale with uh, 254 homes that have sold in the past six months. 68 days on market average with 4.09 months supply of inventory. 272 new listings in that price point with 53 price reductions and five homes that have expired. And from there, they drop off uh, quite considerably in the condo market in terms of inventory. Short sales, got 13 available for sale and 25 foreclosures available for sale. 35 short sales have sold in the last six months and foreclosures, uh, 130. So short sales averaging 43 days on market and foreclosures averaging 44 days on market for condominiums in Hillsborough County. And as you can see down below, Short sales is a percentage of the available inventory, 1.4%. Foreclosures at 2.7%. Short sales is a percentage of the available closed sales at 1.16%. And foreclosures as a percentage of the closed sales coming in at 4.29%. Coming back over here into Pinellas County and taking a look at the uh, Pinellas condominium market, we got 1,980 condos available for sale with 4,886 that have sold in the last six months. Condos overall averaging 63 days on the market with 2.4 months supply of inventory. We've had just under 3,800 new listings in the past 60 days with 528 price reductions and 108 homes have expired in Pinellas County that are considered, or that are condos. <coughs> Up to 150,622 homes uh, or condos available. 2,346 that have closed in the past six months. They're averaging 53 days on market and we're at 1.6 months supply of inventory. From there, looking over uh, 150,000 to 300,000, we have 584 condos available for sale, 1,434 that have sold in the last six months and that is 2.4 months of inventory and averaging 60 days on market. New listings, 1,154 with 188 price reductions and 28 uh, homes uh, or condos that have expired in the past 60 days. 300,000 up to a half million, 378 condos currently available for sale, 657 uh, that have sold in the past six months. And that's 
just under three and a half months supply of inventory with 76 days on market on average. 575 new listings with 86 homes that have been reduced, 18 homes that have expired. Let's drop down, and take a look at the distressed inventory short sales at 17 available for you right now, not too many. And that's in a pretty uh, pretty packed county right now. That's uh, that's something right there. 17 condos available for sale in a, in a community that has a lot of condos because of a lot of the waterfront uh, developments that are in the community. So it just shows you the improvement in the marketplace that we have seen over the past uh, several or past couple of years. That number should, used to be much, much higher. Foreclosures coming in at 23 available for sale in the multiple listing service. We've sold 33 condos in the past six months and then 120 foreclosures in the past six months. Short sales coming in at an average of 72 days on market and foreclosures at 57. Again, this is condominiums in Pinellas County. Short sales is a percentage of the available inventory. It's under 1% at 0.86. Foreclosures is a percentage of the available inventory, 1.16%. And short sales is a percentage of closed sales, 0.68%. Foreclosures as a percentage of the available closed sales, 2.46%. Another thing you can do, and something that I will do from time to time, is compare what's going on on a monthly basis to the other past months that we have done on this uh, program. Right now, I'm just putting up the uh, current month's files on tampabayreo.com, again, available on the homepage if you would like these files. But you can review the uh, past shows, of which are all on tampabayreo.com, and all the uh, past show monthly uh, analysis files are available by simply sending me an email, jamie at tampabayradio.com. And so for anybody trying to gather research on the Tampa Bay real estate market, right here is uh, you know perfect data served up on a silver platter for anybody doing any type of analytical work, also for real estate agents that are looking to educate their clients and uh, the consumers. Happy to share these with you. You just have to say that you're a listener of the program. I'm not uh, concerned if you're a realtor in the Tampa Bay region or not. Again, I'm happy to share this with you because I appreciate you listening to me, even if you are a competitor, although I don't consider myself in competition or a lot of different real estate agents. I'm not, I'm not a cutthroat throat type of individual. I believe there's a lot of business out there and that we can all share amongst ourselves. I'm not a competitive individual. So if you're a real estate agent in the Tampa Bay market and is looking for uh, some assistance, happy to share these files with you. So let's take a look at one of the other counties here, uh, Pasco County. Northern County, uh, which is where the development is uh, moving. We talked about that before here on the uh, program. 2,100 homes available for sale in uh, the multiple listing service in Pasco County with 5,743 homes that have sold in the past six months. We're averaging 54 days on market in Pasco County with 2.19 months supply of inventory in the area. We've had 4,911 new listings in the past 60 days with 1,007 that have been reduced in the past 60 days. 74 homes have expired. Up to, uh, and then specifically in price points, uh, up to 150,000, we had 339 homes available for sale. 1,855 that have sold in the last six months, averaging 38 days on market with 1.1 a month's supply of inventory. In that segment, 1,265 new listings, 200 price reductions, and 11 homes that have expired in the past 60 days. 150,000 to 300,000 in Pasco County, single family homes, 928 currently available for sale. 2,770 that have sold in the past six months, averaging 49 days on market with 2.01 months supply of inventory, 2,382 new listings, 482 price reductions, 25 homes that have expired in the past 60 days. 300,000 up to 500,000, we've got 634 homes available for sale with 970 that have sold in the last six months. Averaging 64 days on market, 3.92 months supply of inventory with 1,052 new listings, 293 price reductions, and 30 homes that have expired. Let's jump down here to the distressed inventory. Short sales coming in at 37 available for sale, which is just 1.76% uh, of the uh, available inventory. We've got 54 foreclosures available for sale, which is 2.57% of the available inventory. Short sales that have sold in the last six months coming in at 90 with the average days on market of 95 and foreclosures coming in at 361 
that have sold in the uh, past six months. So quite a jump between what is available and what is sold in Pasco County foreclosures, averaging 52 days on market, by the way, in that segment. And you see a jump here with foreclosures as a percentage of the available closed sales versus the other counties, because that's Pasco County is at 6.29%. Still a low uh, percentage compared to what it was uh, several years ago. Short sales is a percentage of the available closed sales 1.57 percent condominiums not a whole lot in pasco county uh, it's not known for that but there are some up there 389 currently available for sale we've had a little over 1100 that have sold in the past six months condominiums averaging 58 days on market in pasco county with 2.07 months supply of inventory and 845 new listings 119 price reductions and 17 homes that have uh, dropped in, uh, or just say that have expired on the market. Uh, mostly 1% around the board in terms of distressed inventory on the market, except for 3.8%, uh, which is the foreclosures that have sold as a percentage of the available closed sales. So 43 condos have sold in the past six months, averaging 53 days on market in Pasco County. We'll come back to the break. We'll cover uh, Polk County, which is a home to uh, Lakeland, the county I first, uh, county and city I first moved to and is near and dear uh, to uh, my heart. So we'll talk a little bit about Polk County when we come back from the break. You're listening to That Business Show 2.0 with your host, Jamie Maloney, where real estate becomes show business. Hi, welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tiles, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. And welcome back to the Real Estate Edition of That Business Show 2.0 with your host, Jamie Maloney, where real estate becomes show business. Please keep me in mind for your next uh, real estate project, whether you're buying or selling, or if you're an asset manager or an investor that has a portfolio of properties or would like to pick up a portfolio of properties. 2,000 home sales uh, to date uh, in, in my, uh, in my uh, resume and also beginning to specialize in commercial real estate. So again, consider me a resource in real estate in the Tampa Bay region and even nationally uh, through our vast relocation and our referral network. Jamie at tampabayradio.com. Also uh, more information and all of our listings in the Tampa Bay region on tampabayreo.com. So on today's program, we're talking about what's going on in the Tampa Bay market for all the people out there that like statistics. I know this show can be a little slow for some people who don't prefer statistics, but there are a lot of people out there that do. And so consider this a place 
to keep up to date with what's going on in the Tampa Bay real estate market. So let's take a look at uh, Polk County there, which is home to uh, Lakeland, my uh, first home in Florida when I moved into the uh, Tampa Bay region. And we've got 2,485 homes currently available for sale in Polk County. <coughs> we've sold 5,194 homes in the past six months, averaging 66 days on market. 2.87 months supply of inventory, and we've had 4,700 new listings in Polk County with 854 homes that have dropped in price in the past 60 days. We've had 89 homes expire in Polk County. And again, that is overall within all price points. So looking at up to $150,000, we've got 358 homes currently available for sale. 1,585 homes that have sold in the past six months, averaging 47 days on market. Months of supply, 1.36 with 1,175 new listings in the past 60 days. 169 homes that have been uh, dropped in price with 16 that have expired. Up to uh, 300,000, starting at 150,000. That's the meat of the curve in uh, Tampa Bay and also in Polk County. As you can see, just uh, you know from the numbers, just a considerably lower amount of inventory overall over in Polk County. Although it is a large county, a lot of rural area over in Polk County and a lot of area is still to be developed uh, over there. And so it, it's, a, it's a prime location for future development sitting right in between Tampa and Orlando. And so many people predict sometime in the next, you know, 50, uh, 70 years that Lakeland and the area just between Tampa and Orlando will be much more of a metropolis than it, uh, than it already is. But there's a lot of farms over there, the strawberry farms uh, and the orange fields which are very, uh, you know, important to the economy of Florida, you know, has really stymied that growth. And that's why you don't see a lot of development over there. But, you know, money talks and through the, uh, through the coming uh, decades, uh, I think we'll see uh, more development in the, along the I-4 corridor. There's even a sign up along uh, I-4 that says uh, future home of Orlampa, which is the, obviously the combination of Orlando and Tampa. Over here, between 150,000 and 300,000, 1,495 homes available for sale. 3,233 homes that have sold in the last six months, averaging 66 days on market and 2.7 months supply of inventory. 2,980 new listings in the past 60 days with 571 price reductions. 51 homes have expired. 300,000 up to a half million, got 471 homes available for sale. 321 have sold in the past six months, averaging 108 days on market. And then that's 8.8 .8 months of supply of inventory. So quite a jump between 150 and 300,000 and 300,000 and 500,000 uh, in terms of months of supply of inventory, going from 2.8 up to 8.8. Again, keep in mind, we always say that the, the, the healthy point of inventory in our marketplace, six, seven months of supply of inventory for it to be a balanced real estate market. 466 new listings with 101 price reductions in the past 60 days. 16 homes have expired. And then from there, half a million up to 750,000. 94 homes available for sale. 48 that have sold in the last six months with 133 days on market. And then 11.75 months. Supply of inventory with 69 new listings, 11 price reductions, and five homes that have expired. Let's drop down in here to the uh, distressed inventory. You got 43 uh, homes available for sale, and that's 1.73% uh, of the available inventory in Polk County. Foreclosures, we got 60 of those available for sale, and that's 2.4% uh, foreclosures that are available as a percentage of the overall inventory. 79 short sales have sold in the past six months. That's 83 days on market. 291 foreclosures have sold in the past six months. That's averaging 45 days on market. Short sales, 1.5% uh, as a percentage of the available closed sales. Foreclosures making up 5.6% of that. Looking at the Polk condominium market, it's a very small marketplace. 257 homes available for sale, 586 sales in the past six months averaging 80 days on market with 2.6 months supply of inventory 542 new listings or 62 price reductions in the past 60 days and 18 of them expiring 
and then 70 up to seven and here we break it down to a smaller number up to 75,000 we got 43 homes available for sale and then 115 that have sold in the past six months averaging 63 days on market 2.24 months supply of inventory and again this is condominiums in Polk County and then the meat of the curve in Polk County being at 100 and 150 thousand dollars three short sales uh, in the condominium market available for sale over in polk county five short five foreclosures available uh to both of them coming in at under two percent uh, in terms of available inventory short sales uh, five of them sold in the past six months and 25 foreclosures have sold in the past six months so as a percentage of the available closed sales short sales at 0.85 0.85 percent and foreclosures at 4.3%. So as you can see over the last uh, few months as we do these programs, inventory remains tight, distressed inventory remains tight, but all the analysts and all the forecasts are showing a, per, a, a, a strong rise in the stressed inventory over the next one to two years. And so if you're looking to sell your home, now is an excellent time to get the home on the marketplace. I can personally say that you know the homes are not moving as fast as what they were you know just a few months back the market is beginning to cool in tampa bay and so even though it is still a strong seller's market and you want to sell your home now they aren't moving as quickly and so homes are sitting onto the marketplace we're going to see a lot more inventory just naturally come onto the market also in the next few years because of the uh the supply of uh the stress or the supply of inventory that was purchased in 2012 was quite substantial by investors and hedge funds and all of that expected to come back onto the market towards the latter part of this decade so now if you'd like to sell your home it's probably the best time to sell if it's going to be in the next uh, couple of years we're going to be talking more to you as a buyer in terms of buying because values are going to begin to be pushed down it's not necessarily going to be a repeat of 2004 and 2005 but a lot of the warning signs are out there we've talked about that on the uh, program before you know a lot of jumbo mortgages are coming back onto the marketplace that it went away those are were a precursor to the uh, defaults uh, in the industry a lot of uh, subprime lending is coming back although they don't call that subprime anymore uh, and so uh, a lot of uh, factors that are coming into the uh, in the marketplace which uh, is indicating a, um, uh, a you know future of distressed inventory mortgage defaults are up all the stuff uh, out there again signaling a rise in inventory and why today you need to uh, get your home sold or be willing to uh, weather the next storm in the uh, Tampa Bay real estate market. Uh, keep in mind uh, new episodes of this program again each weekday morning at 9 a.m. and on th I'm sorry on Thursday mornings at 9 a.m. on thatbusinessnetwork.com and new episodes of the regular That Business Show 2.0 air each weekday morning at 9 a.m. and that's where we talk with uh, entrepreneurs and business and professional leaders about their business and then we reserve Thursdays to talk about my business which is real estate so we're always looking for content for the program if you'd like to come on either the real estate edition which I typically do solo but we can have some guests on the program from time to time or on the regular that business show 2.0 get in touch with us through tbsinterview.com and you're always welcome to email me directly, jamie at tampabayradio.com. And we greatly thank all the listeners and viewers out there of both the Real Estate Edition and the, um, the regular program. We carry around 100,000 listeners and viewers a month across all the different uh, mediums that we use from iTunes and YouTube through the Tampa Bay Multimedia Studio and their own uh, viewership on the uh, channel and a lot of social media on the uh, on the show. People that have been on the program before can definitely attest to the uh, social media marketing that we do for the uh, program. It just helps spread the word. So hopefully if you've found us uh, and you uh, have subscribed to us, you've liked and you've left a review, we appreciate that. Again, it helps the program grow and helps us get out to more and more people. We've made it easy to find our YouTube channel. Just go to thatyoutubechannel.com where you can find all the videos available on demand. And then thatbusinessnetwork.com, which has all the different shows, all the different videos, all the different show cards for the guests that have been on since the new 2.0 edition of the program. The old radio show edition of the uh, program still available on iTunes uh, through the uh, RSS feed. So if you subscribe to that, you can get all of the past shows with all the different entrepreneurial interviews, nearly 13, 1400 different interviews and over nearly 2000 interviews altogether on this program. So a lot of different discussions, a lot of different topics 
covered on this program. So again, thank you to the listeners and the viewers of the program and also to all the uh, guests and supporters of the uh, program for spreading the word and talking about that business show 2.0 where business becomes show business.